We all need the perfect getaway at some point, especially when you're on the go as much as I am. I think I found the perfect spot. When you think about Nebraska, you don't automatically think about golf, but Dormy Network's Arbor Links in Nebraska City is the perfect blend of luxury and the rural outdoors. But with more and more housing developments being built on golf courses, it's getting very difficult to find an escape, especially a property like this. Let's explore the countryside of Arbor Links together. Hey, John Chapman. Hey. John Chapman. Nice Welcome to meet you, John. Links. Yes, I noticed a lot of corn on my way here. Quite a bit. And, and then all road. of a sudden, yeah. a golf course. <laughs> exactly. It's gorgeous. Exactly. You can tell it's new, but a nice touch of like the historic old. Exactly. I love that. Exactly, yeah. So obviously a beautiful, uh, beautiful dining room. Uh, the only thing remaining from the original building is the fireplace. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful dining room, beautiful bar. It's kind of a cozy atmosphere. Got a great view of uh, number 18 green from right here. So this is the heckling deck, as we call it. Uh, really a neat area for events and things like that. Finish up, somebody can stand up here and harass the people uh, finishing on 18. It's a really just a kind of a cool atmosphere to have a cocktail and, and relax. I noticed we are surrounded by a ton of nature. There's a story to that, isn't there? There is, absolutely. Yeah, the Arbor Day uh, Foundation and the Lodge are all right next to us. So uh, what you're seeing here on the other side of 18 Green is, is uh, you know, just a, a beautiful display of nature and, and all the the natural beauty that, uh, that surrounds us is pretty incredible. And what's the story about this structure over here? So uh, when Mr. Palmer uh, designed the facility and, and came here, that was the one thing that he said we absolutely cannot move. So uh, he's incorporated the silo uh, into the experience. Uh, when you come up 18, you actually drive underneath it. And if we were standing on the backside, you'd see all the uh, little dimples from all the golf balls that have pelted that thing <laughs> over the years. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat and uh, pretty unique. What is your favorite thing about this finishing hole? Uh, the second shot. It's a really good second shot. A um, little bit of a force carry, which there aren't that many on the golf course, but uh, it's a tough test. And if you can get home and, and par on 18, you've, you've played well. So it's not the biggest clubhouse, but you get something hidden downstairs, don't we do. you? Yeah, kind of the crown jewel of the whole building is, uh, is right downstairs. So we'll take a quick tour. So this is the wine room and a uh, great place for dinner parties and, you know, small board meetings, stuff like that. It's, it's beautiful in the evenings, especially when they turn the lights on. And you mentioned the cozy vibe upstairs. You see a theme down here as well. You see the fireplace in the picture. Yep. And you know what? It's not flashy. That's what I like about it. It really is. makes you feel like you're kicking back at home. Well, let's go enjoy around. Yeah, let's do it. So Chantel, I actually invited uh, Katrina Griffin to join us today for a round of golf and thought it would be fun to uh, play as a group. Yes, I love having a female around and I know you've got some college golf experience so you might be kicking my butt out there. So one's a really good par five, um, fun hole, kind of a little dog leg left and goes down the hill to the, to the green. It's kind of a fun opening hole. Okay, you guys have everything here. One of my favorites is the certified Piedmontese beef jerky. Oh, of course you have that here. All right, that makes sense. And then we've got homemade ice cream sandwiches in the cooler. Popcorn. Old school setup again. It smells awesome. And it's called the comfort station. Comfort station. Comfort food. Comfort food. There you go. <laughs> comfort you if you're not playing well. Good pot. It was great playing with you. A You're lot on fun. fire today. <laughs> my gosh. Good Nothing pot. but birdies over here for yep. this one. Chantel, I'd like you to meet uh, Dan Lamb, hey, nice president of the Arbor Day Foundation. At the Arbor Day Foundation, our mission is we inspire people to plant, nurture, and celebrate trees. So the Arbor Day Foundation is thrilled to be partnering with Arbor Links and the Dormy Network, two wonderful organizations collaborating to create a world-class experience for visitors who come to golf to walk the trails, to experience the history and the heritage of this place. And you know what, you might not think, oh, when you play golf, trees are part of your surrounding. But think about places like Pebble Beach or yeah. even um, right in 
Florida, TPC Sawgrass. Right. There it, are trees that are staples to golf courses. Rarely do you find a golf course where trees are not part of the iconic imagery of the courses, oftentimes the logos of the courses. That's true. Sometimes the, the most difficult part of the golf course is working around the trees, but trees make golf courses iconic and beautiful spaces. They help bring shade on hot days. True. Um, sometimes challenges, but uh, inevitably they make the spaces more beautiful. They make our rounds more enjoyable. And just like here at Arbor Links, it makes it a wonderful place to be. And I can tell the natural blend of both because every single hole when you get to the tee box, it's named after a tree. Right. This, this space has inspired conservation leadership and tree planting all across Nebraska, all across the United States and all across the world now. This is the original conservation golf course. This course was built with conservation in mind, watershed management, habitat management. The history of Arbor Day comes to life here at Arbor Links. Thanks for showing me around That's the golf really course. Good. While I'm in Nebraska, I, gotta, I guess I gotta go check out the Arbor Lodge. So Absolutely. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go see what that's all about. Enjoy it. Arbor Links on the countryside in Nebraska was such a perfect surprise because it's a beautiful blend without being too stuffy. You're getting all of the nice amenities, every single touch, every detail on and off the golf course, like the halfway house, the comfort station, how beautiful it was inside, all of the selection, the accommodations in the cottage, the quality of golf. And then when you get inside the clubhouse, it really does have that cozy feel like you're walking inside your living room and posting up by the fire. Well, we are in Nebraska after all and I have never been inside a corn maze, so wish me luck. We'll see you next time, hopefully, on Clubhouse Connoisseur.